Here's how we turn compacted urban soils into thriving vegetable gardens. The first thing we do when working with new soil is test it for lead. In cities like ours with a lot of decaying buildings, some soil has dangerously high levels of lead. We collect a few scoops in a sandwich bag and send it to university laboratories. Next, we break up the soil so roots and water have room to move. This particular patch was run over by a cherry picker that some house painters were using, so we loosened up the soil with a broad fork to aerate it. Often, soils like this have bits of debris in them, so we go through and pick that out. But be careful digging with bare hands because there's often broken glass as well, which I've learned the hard way many times. And yet, here I am filming myself doing it barehanded once again. The last step is to cover the whole bed in compost to add some organic matter and nutrients which will help bring the soil back to life. This bed will grow flower corn and black beans that we're going to use for a grain growing workshop later this summer. Check out our complete gardening course in our bio if you want more in-depth info.